guys doing? You guys all right? Yeah. All right. Look, first things first. Malaysia and Singapore, we've been fighting for a long time, right? We've been fighting about chicken rice, which is weird, right? Because Singapore is saying like, no, we created the Hainanese chicken rice. Malaysia is like, no, we created the Hainanese chicken rice. People from Hainan are going, what the f***? <laughs> it's in the name, guys. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, and, uh, speaking about food, I don't understand health food, all right? Clearly, this is, you know, not the product of health food. My wife thinks that I should be more healthy. I understand, I get it, I should be more healthy. But she gives me the hard sell. She tells me, like, hey, don't you want to be at your daughter's wedding? <laughs> yeah. And my response is, no. <laughs> I don't want to be at, I don't want to be at a party where I pay for it and I have to invite people I don't want. All right? So they, I'm not I'm not going to do that. Like I don't understand this health. She puts me on a diet. She puts me on a keto diet, right? How many of y'all know what a keto diet is? Make some noise. All right, so most of y'all. All right? Here's the thing about the keto diet. All right? Let me tell you. I've been on the keto diet for 3 months now and I've lost the will to live. All right? I don't I want to find a mother who created the keto diet, and I want to stab him, you understand? I don't, I don't get the keto diet, you can't eat rice. You can't eat rice. Right, as a Malaysian Indian, you know how embarrassing that is, uh, that I cannot eat rice. You know, how, you know how hard is it for me to tell my mom I cannot eat rice? It's easier for me to come out as gay. <laughs> it is though, it is. Like I told my mom, like, I can't eat rice, she's like, just be gay lah. <laughs> Why are you beating around the bush? Right? And then there's, the, 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 I don't, the like almond flour. What the f is almond flour? Like, what the hell? Like, there's almond milk. Almond milk. What? How do you milk an almond? How? It's impossible. You show me the nipple, all right? It, it, it doesn't work like that, all right? I, I bought an almond. I started sucking on it. Mwah, 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 right? Nothing came out, all right? Must have been a male almond. I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on, guys. Right? But here's the thing. Uh, Singapore, I love you guys. I love coming to Singapore to perform because I get paid in Singapore dollars, <laughs> which is nice. But here's the thing. Like, you know, nothing happens in Singapore. Nothing happens. There's no crime. There's nothing happens in Singapore. I, I did a show a few months ago, and I wanted some material, so I picked up one of your newspapers, right? And I skimmed through to get some material, right? And I found out 98% Malaysia news. Right, 98% Malaysian news. That's, uh, we are the biggest exporter of news to Singapore, all right? <laughs> and here's the thing, right? 98% Malaysian news, that's when it hit me, all right? Malaysia, it's not that we want to be corrupt. It's for your entertainment, all right? <laughs> all right, because if we weren't corrupt, your newspapers would be very thin, all right? It would be front page obituaries. <laughs> Nothing happens in Singapore. That's all I'm saying. Like, I put away the newspaper, I turn on the TV, and what do you have? Crime dramas. Crime dramas in Singapore. You all don't have crime, but you all have crime dramas. How good are your actors, all right? This is not right. You cannot do this. Like, can you imagine if the biggest crime drama in the world was set in Singapore? You guys know Law and Order? Yeah. Can you imagine if Law and Order Singapore? That would be the shortest series in the entire world. All right? That would just be like, Tung Tung, Changi, 8.30. What happened? Nothing. <laughs> Tung Tung, the end. That's it. It'd be a Vine video, all right? It doesn't work out, right? Nothing happens in Singapore. And here's the thing, though. Everything happens in Malaysia. I recently read the best headline I've ever read in my entire life, and I'm going to tell you the headline. It says, you can Google this, it's absolutely true, right? Man farts on wife's face, charged. Let me repeat that. Man farts on wife's face, charged. This guy is charged in court, which means there's a case in court for this. There is a judge listening to this case. There is a lawyer defending this man <laughs> who allegedly farted on his wife's face. Right now, I saw the headline and I thought to myself, no, this, this cannot be true. This has to be clickbait. When I click on it, Rick Astley is going to pop up and sing, right? I, did, I, I needed to know, but I clicked on it and it was an article. The first line of the article was, this guy is facing 5,000 ringgit bail 
and two years in jail. I know, right? What did he eat? <laughs> How smelly was this fart? That it's considered a murder weapon. Right? I don't understand. Like, how bad? How bad can this be? And I needed to know what happened. I'm hooked. I'm, I'm, I'm in this for the long haul. I needed to know what happened. So I scrolled down. I scrolled down to find what happened. And I found a paragraph. Right? And what it said was, and I cannot make this up, guys. So the wife was cooking in the kitchen. And she ran out of gas. The irony is right there. <laughs> right? And then she decided that she needed more gas. So she had to go to the husband and ask him to buy some gas from the shop. Right? Now, the husband was watching TV. And he didn't want to go out. Right? He was watching his favorite TV program, like Law and Order Singapore. I don't know. <laughs> Right, so he was angry. Like, he was so angry. He was so angry that he decided to stand up, pull his pants down, aim his asshole to her face, <laughs> and fart on her face. What level of anger is this? <laughs> How angry do you have to be that you think to yourself, I'm going to shout at this woman? No. That is not enough. <laughs> I'm going to break something in the house. No. <laughs> that is not enough. I know. I am going to fart on her face. <laughs> There's no way. What, how do you get this? Do we have any married people in the audience? Yes. Sir, are you married? How long have you been married? Yes. Two years? All right, let me ask you this question, man. In that two years, have you ever been so angry that you decided to fart on your wife's face? No? No, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you, right? Because I've been married for 10 years, for 10 years, and I've never, ever farted on my wife's face on purpose. Right? Listen, first of all, I didn't know it was illegal, all right? And second of all, this guy is facing two years in jail. I'll get the death penalty, all right? Now, listen, all right, he's charged in court, which means that she had to make a police report, right? She had to tell another human being this story, <laughs> right? You can imagine the Malaysian policeman just having a good day at work, <laughs> right? With his Windows 95 computer, right? And she walks in with tears in her eyes, right? Because of the tear gas. <laughs> Right? And you, if you've ever done a police report, you know you have to be oddly specific on every detail. Like, I, I, it was 4.30 p.m. at house number four, street number five, and I was cooking in the kitchen. And I ran out of gas. That's when I asked my husband to buy some gas. And that's when he got angry, and he farted on my face. <laughs> right? And the, you can imagine the police constable was like, Can you uh, repeat the last part again? <laughs> Actually, wait. Uh, uh, sergeant, come here. No, you come here. Uh, you tell the sergeant what happened. <laughs> and then at, this, at one point, the whole police station was standing there and like, no, we're not laughing at you. No, it's not. It's, it's, uh, right? And then here's the thing. I don't know what investigations was done. I don't know what questions were asked, right? But here's the thing, if I was the policeman, I only had one burning question that I had to ask, which was, the whole time, the whole time your husband was standing up, pulling his pants down, aiming his asshole to your face, what were you doing? <laughs> right? Were you there the whole time saying, I wonder what he's going to do? <laughs> then maybe you deserve it, lah! <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is my time. Thank you so much for listening to my stories. You've been an amazing audience. Give yourselves a round of applause.